Okay, so hello everyone. Thank you for joining us. I am Stephanie Mack. I am the Sales and Revenue Manager at Hermitage Bay. Um, thank you, Narelle, for sharing the details on pre-arrival. Um, so I will skip over that and come straight into a bit of an overview of Hermitage Bay and then talk a bit about how things are changing or not in light of COVID. Um, so the screen or the image that you're looking at now is a similar but different vision or version to the one that Crystal shared. You can see Hermitage Bay is on the left of the screen. We are about 35 minutes from the airport. We also include complimentary meet and greet with private transfers. Um, however, as of right now, that service is discontinued. Um, the fast track service is discontinued. So we still do have the private transfers, 35 minutes. I include this particular map because I actually quite like that it shows the roads. Um, and I think it kind of sets the tone for a stay at Hermitage Bay. As you can see, there is no road to the property. Um, we are literally off the beaten path. And I think that, as I said, sets the tone for the experience in terms of our barefoot luxury. Um, and with that said, we are very well suited for post-COVID travel um, in the sense that we only have 30 suites. They are all individual uh, cabin suites, if you will. Um, at max occupancy, we have just 60 people on property and we are not expecting to hit max occupancy. So we haven't set any sort of occupancy cap um, for the foreseeable, foreseeable future. We are just, of course, taking precautions to make sure that everything around the main areas is more set out, um, set six feet apart. The image that you're looking at now shows an aerial of all 30 suites. Those closest to the beach are the beachfront. The tier just behind that is the Sea View Garden Suite. And as you can see, they are all built in between the beachfront, so they still offer a partial sea view. And then we have the suites on the hillside, which are our hillside pool suites. Those, despite being the furthest from the beach, are higher priced. So the unique thing about Hermitage Bay is that the most expensive rooms are the furthest from the beach. And with that said, um, as Narelle mentioned, we are a virtuoso property, we are also signature, um, and we do often offer upgrades based on availability as a service to you, um, or an, an extra value add, but we will never upgrade from the beach to the hillside. So there's a couple of reasons I'm gonna want you all to reach out to us when you make a booking. This is one of them, especially as I've mentioned that we are running lower occupancy now, we have opportunities to upgrade. Um, not always, but we might. And so I would always encourage you once you've booked through any wholesaler, um, direct of course, we would have your contact details. But when you book us, make sure to let me know because then if I have the opportunity to upgrade, your clients, I can, and it makes you look like a star. So keep that in mind, since we would not move someone from the beach to the hill without their okay. Uh, this is an image of our lead-in room, as you can see the Sea View Garden Suite, which I mentioned is just behind the beachfront. Then we have our beachfront rooms. All rooms are king bed, and we are primarily a couples resort. Um, I don't recommend, we do take children 14 and older. Honestly, I don't recommend us unless the family is adamant about taking two rooms. If you do have a family, Carlisle Bay is a better option. We really cater to the honeymooners and solo travelers or any couple that really just wants to get away and have that very relaxed beach holiday. Um, all rooms are air conditioned. They all have flat screen televisions, Wi-Fi, so it's a very laid back kind of rustic, barefoot luxury escape, but still having those modern amenities with the AC, et cetera. Um, images now are of the hillside pool suites. I've, in I've included a few extras, so you can see this picture on the left is higher up the hill. Those lower on the hill have a more slim or a sliver of a sea view, so this is another reason to liaise with me when you're booking. If your clients prefer to be just like a one or two minute walk, from the beach, but also have a hillside pool suite, we put them lower down. If they don't mind the four to five minute walk down, 10 minute walk up, um, this is the view that they would enjoy from further up the hill. And of course we do offer a golf cart service as well. Um, in terms of the ambiance, very important to note that it's spa-like, it's very quiet. Um, one of the things that I know has come up a lot recently is people wanting to know if they can leave property on arrival. Now, provided that they have a negative 
PCR test. You are allowed to leave once you adhere to all of the protocols, social distancing, masks, etc. In general, though, our guests don't usually leave Hermitage Bay. We encourage them to. The island is beautiful. You should explore it. But the kind of client that's going to love Hermitage Bay is the one that really just wants to be pampered and to chill out. Um, if people do go on an excursion, it's typically um, deep sea fishing. If they catch something, chef can prepare it for them. And then a lot of people like to book this private beach dinner where it's just them um, on the beach. We only offer one per night. So again, you want to book that in advance. A um, couple shots of the beach and the pool here. We do include non-motorized water sports. I've mentioned quite a bit that it's a quiet spa like ambiance. That doesn't mean it's boring. Um, Again, laid back is a key term. Staff have fun, staff are involved. We have the same bands that are gonna play at the more lively hotels like Sandals. They come to us as well. And depending on the guests that are in house, it can be a lot of fun um, with dancing. And every now and then either Simone or Anthony will join the band and they are incredible singers, I think, waiting to be discovered. Um, we are an all-inclusive property. I did not mention that earlier, apologies. We are all-inclusive. So every rate, there's um, all-inclusive food, beverages, canapes, um, bar is premium, so we are pouring Grey Goose, Johnny Walker Black. Every meal is served a la carte, made to order, vegan menus, vegetarian menus, gluten-free. If your clients want something special off menu, just talk to us, let us know what they're in the mood for. A chef will come out and whip something up differently if it's not on the menu. So it's a very catered F&B experience as well. Um, and similar to Carlisle Bay, we try to source as much locally as possible. We have our own organic garden, um, and we're really into sustainability and organic. So it's a really, it's great for foodie destination. And then the last point in the official presentation is a two to one staff guest ratio. Um, and again, in case you missed it the first couple times, laid back soul for, soulful service is what we specialize in. Now, specific to COVID, we have a few changes um, that I'd like to tell everyone about. Cancellation, we used to have a pretty strict cancellation window. We are still, we brought it down, but it's still at 21 days if you're booking through a tour operator. Now, having said that, we've been extremely flexible. Um, we understand the stress and the reasons that people would have to cancel last minute. And so if you are having to cancel or make changes within that 21 days, we have been refunding everyone um, or getting them to rebook in the future by honoring rate. I see a lot of questions come up, um, so I will check those in a minute. Um, we do have festive space still available. Um, for pre-arrival, another reason that we're going to need your, you to email us is we are sending everyone a pre-arrival form to check in. Our idea is that as soon as guests get there, we can get them straight to the room. Um, so we're wanting those emails as soon as possible. So again, if you book, let me know if your clients would like an upgrade, let me know any special requests. I can also send you our pre-arrival email so that they can be checked in essentially before even landing in Antigua and arriving at the property. Um, 